We are also following some breaking news of a deadly crash along State Route 94, and we can confirm that a Caltrans contractor was killed. News 8's Evan Irani is live near Spring Valley with an update on this investigation. Good morning, Evan. This is unfortunate. Good morning, uh, Stella and Eric. Yeah, this is uh, now new information that we just got, which is from Caltrans, that this involved the Caltrans contractor who was killed in this incident. We want to show you what happened behind us. Uh, right now, over the last uh, several minutes, we saw uh, one of the vehicles that was involved in this crash taken away. It was towed away, uh, but it had been on scene here for the last several hours. We believe this took place just past midnight of last night, uh, going into early this morning. Uh, so. It is believed that that Caltrans employee or Caltrans contractor uh, was on the road on the eastbound 94 before being struck by someone driving eastbound. Right now, all eastbound lanes are shut down. You have to take the Sweetwater Springs Boulevard exit if you want to uh, make it past anywhere farther east here in Spring Valley, uh, which means if you're on the Avocado Boulevard exit, you will not be able to take that exit. You will have to take the, uh, the previous exit prior to that. Now, again, what we know right Right now is that one person was killed in this uh, fatal crash. If it is, is believed that there was a secondary crash that began uh, as a result of that first crash, and we have seen investigators on scene since we got here early this morning, just around 4 a.m. They have been continuing to place markers on the ground. It looks like most of the Caltrans workers are continuing to finish up whatever job they were doing here last night before they're allowed to reopen the 94 eastbound lanes. Right now, there is no trouble going on the westbound lanes. However, uh, it's only eastbound that traffic is shut down at. So we're still awaiting any further and further information on the secondary crash that took place after that Caltrans contractor was hit and killed. Uh, we are also are still waiting on more information as to whether or not alcohol or drugs were a factor in this crash right now, but we do not have uh, any further information beyond that.